Hello my awesome viewers and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video I'm going to be doing a quick run through through the Minecraft 1.3.1 update. So yeah, so I'm now I'm just, just standing on the edge of this. And yeah, so let's just get to it and I'll see you guys in a bit. Desert and jungle temples have been added. Watch out for the traps. Cocoa bean plants now randomly generate on jungle tree logs and jungle bombs. They need to pass through three different stages of growing before you can harvest a fully grown plant. Once the plant reaches the final stage, once you break it, it gives you three cocoa beans in return, which you can then plant again and so on. By clicking options and going open to LAN, you can open up your single player world to the multiplayer world so your friends can play on it as well. The emerald door can be found in the extreme hills biome but unfortunately is very rare. You can also now gain experience in mining laws such as redstone ore, coal ore, diamond ore, emerald ore, and let's not forget lapis lazuli ore. Now, once you've mined up enough emeralds, or just spawned a bunch of them in creative mode, then you can make emerald blocks. With these, you can do anything you want with them really. Just build something huge and amazing and you're good to go. Villager trader has now been added. You can right click on a villager and he will give you an option. You can either give him items to get an emerald or you can give him emeralds to get an item. Signs and buckets are finally stackable. So if you're going mining and you need a ton of buckets, then you've got enough room for your diamonds, your redstone, your minerals, everything really. Another cool feature is the new creative mode menu. It is awesome. You can also now craft different types of wooden slabs and wooden stairs with the different types of wooden planks you can get. You can also get some sandstone stairs now, which is great for architecture, buildings and everything really in Minecraft. You can now place redstone circuitry and minecart tracks on any top path of any slab you choose. But just be careful what you use the redstone with. It could cause some explosions and failed redstone mess. Ender chest can be used to teleport your items from one chest to another. A great method to use if you're on a mining trip deep underground, or if you're far from spawn and you have a full inventory of items you need. You can toggle trip wires to trigger redstone, which can. Oh god. up guys welcome back um i was not really welcome back it was kind of where well, i finished the video but anyway so um yeah i thank you for watching my video i did put quite a lot of work into this pretty much i'd say a bit more than i usually would into a minecraft video something like that so um anyway so i guess i'll see you guys later toby out <laughs> Thank you.